What's going on guys? Hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, I know I've been MIA for a couple days. Um, last week I was really sick. I had strep throat. Um, I was in bed pretty much all week. Um, so that was kind of a bummer. I uh, then just recently I've been catching up on some work um, projects that I have to finish um, so I can save up some more money because I want to do a couple more trips before it gets way too cold out here. Um, it's still pretty nice like I'm in a t-shirt right now but the nights are getting pretty cold uh, which is really good for sleeping um, outside too because uh, I can have my roof vent open and um, it's just a nice breeze comes through and uh, I'm all bundled up. But um, a lot of people have been asking me what, uh, what I pack in my van and uh, like what kind of things I use in my van. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so today I thought I'd do a little tour and show you guys everything that I have in my van. Um, there's going to be a couple things that aren't um, shown, like my clothes and stuff because I'm doing laundry right now. But uh, everything else is pretty much in here. Um, the only thing that's not in here is I usually keep a couple things of oil and a couple things of antifreeze. Um, or windshield wiper fluid um, just to keep them topped off when I'm uh, usually out on the road um, but everything else is in here so let's get right into it all right so starting off underneath my bed I have a GoPro selfie stick um, that I use sometimes and it's um, retractable too so it can go out to about I don't know, I'd say about five feet um, this is just a socket set this is a toolbox with a bunch of uh, various tools in it this right here is a little just like a little junk box. It's got some just random things in it. Um, bug repellent, binoculars, a skate tool for my skateboard, uh, a compass, a bunch of uh, fat wood to start fires, um, some more Game Boy games. This is just little stuff that I put in, little knickknacks. Let's put that underneath my bed. Um, I usually keep my clothes just right on top. I just fold them and lay them on top because you can almost tell like this is almost like flat. So I just stack my clothes there. Um, they're actually in the wash right now, so that's why they're not in here. This is kind of my little basket that I have some Febreze, um, some Q-tips, some laundry detergent, um, allergy stuff, and uh, soap. And I got some Band-Aids in there as well. Um, here I got three fishing rods. These are the ones I don't use all the time, so that's why they're under here. Uh, back here I have my water purification system. So if I'm out and I need clean water, I have that. Um, I have a, this, this is a base pillow. It's pretty much like an inflatable pillow, uh, just an extra one. And we got some more tea, um, another camera, uh, my GoPro. I just keep it in this little uh, thing because I don't really use it that much. I usually use the camera that I'm filming with. So that's pretty much it. Um, I got my Atlas, then my camera bag underneath that has nothing in it right now because all my lenses and stuff are out and about. So I have a couple things hanging up on my uh, bulkhead here. I have my backpack that I use all the time. I have a long sleeve sweater, a baseball cap, and this uh, kind of fishing hat, I guess. It's, uh, it's good to keep the sun off my neck when I'm fishing. Um, then over here, I just have um, a hook that has some sweaters on it. Um, I'm going to be putting another hook right here, like one like this. Um, but for right now, I just have it hanging on my uh, my curtain rod. And this is just a bungee cord. And I have two sweaters there. One heavy one and one um, lighter one. for Because uh, it's about to get cold around here. So as far as my kitchen goes, um, right here in this little cubby underneath my water, I keep um, some vitamins that I take. I have my toothbrush and toothpaste. Um, I have some extra um, forks and spoons, um, some little things of mouthwash, um, some more toothpaste, a fork, um, a can opener, and some more uh, mouthwash. I like getting these little ones because I can put them anywhere. 
and I'd rather not bring a big one around. So I just get these little travel ones and um, they work out really well. These little guys, they fit, they pretty much fit anywhere. So that's pretty much what's all in there. So as far as under my sink goes, um, I just have the basic stuff. I have uh, two dishcloths right here, um, a little scrubby. I have some napkins down here. I have white vinegar, which I use to uh, do my dishes. I have a little bit of dish soap. I don't usually use it unless I have to. I usually use the white vinegar because I don't use as much uh, clean water. Um, this is just a little spray bottle um, with the vinegar in it. And I'll just spray my um, dishes down, then just wipe them. I got some uh, Windex wipes. I got my garbage behind that. I have um, some more fuel for my little camp stove, as well as uh, garbage bags for my garbage. And that right there is my um, drainage tank. So when that's full, I just take that out and dump it. Um, and I have a little broom and a dust pan right there. And all this actually fits in there pre pretty nice. No complaints. As well as I have a, um, a couple more of these back there. They're just kind of buried, but I know that they're back there. All right, so the knives that I use are pretty much pretty simple. Um, I have three cooking knives, a small one, a medium one, and a big one um, for chopping vegetables and stuff like that. I have two bushcraft knives, and I have a, a big pair of scissors. Um, this right here is just a little mug, and I have a bunch of little knick-knack stuff in it. Um, we got some Kool-Aid, a bunch of markers. This is some raw beeswax that comes in handy. I just have it wrapped in a, uh, some wax paper. I also have a bunch of little other things like change and stuff at the bottom. And uh, this is actually Velcroed right to the top here. So it doesn't go anywhere and it's uh, secure. Um, those are just my lenses. In this bowl right here that I put right here, um, Again, just stuff that I can grab quick um, when I'm in bed. I have a, uh, a really bright flashlight. Um, so if someone's trying to get in my van, I can kind of blind them. And it's just good to have if I don't want to turn on my other little lights. I use this little inverter. Um, I think it's a 60 watt that I use for my laptop. I got some, uh, some fishing lures in here, some gum, um, a lighter. I have a couple lighters in here for my stove. Um, I got some toothpicks, um, another iPhone, um, some chapstick, um, some razor blades. Those come in handy if you're cutting small things. Um, a pencil, and yeah, just some little things. I like to put my stuff in like bowls and stuff like that, and Velcro it down so it doesn't slide everywhere, like. This ain't, this isn't going anywhere at all. Like this bowl, it gets Velcroed down. Um, I got a Rubik's cube right there. And that's pretty much everything on top of my kitchen area. As far as food goes, I'm not really gonna go into much detail um, because I don't really have a lot of healthy things in here right now. I'm kind of just running low on stock. I haven't done groceries in a while, but um, a lot of things I like to eat are these, um, these herring. These are really, really good. And um, they're good for you. I do, uh, I do suggest so if you guys get these, um, put them in a separate bag and throw them out right away because they do stink. Um, in here, I just got some Mr. Noodles. Um, this is what I have for breakfast. These uh, instant oatmeal. I got some Nutrigrain bars. Some trail mix. Um, jam peanut butter, beans, they're on sale, so I picked a couple of those up. Some soup. I've been trying to stay away from Kansas because they take up so much space. Um, some rice, and some more beans in the back. Like I said, it's not really stacked up in here. I usually get um, fruit and stuff if I'm going somewhere, but uh, if I'm staying at home for a couple days, I won't buy fruits, so uh, it doesn't go bad. Down here is all my cooking stuff. Um, I got all my bowls, uh, a cup, um, another aluminum uh, cup. 
right here I have my main uh, pot. It's a, a solo stove, one liter pot. I really like that. Down here too, I have my little lantern. You guys have seen that before. I just put it under there just so it's easy to get to. Um, I got some more little, uh, I don't even know what these are called. There's little bowls. I put um, sauce and stuff in those to dip. Oh, dipping, dipping guys. I have a another Nalgene bottle. I have my pan. And I have a bamboo cutting board that I have not used yet. And that's it. That's all under there. So that just, all that stuff is just right under here. Easy to get to while I'm cooking. And that's pretty much everything in my kitchen. All right, so up here um, on this half of my shelf, I have all my cooking things. So I have some hot sauce. Um, this is just a, uh, a bottle full of uh, cooking oil. These are all just kind of spices and stuff that sometimes I don't put these spices in my Mr. Noodles. So I just keep them just in case. Um, some tea. These are all loose, loose leaf tea. So that's green tea. Um, this is green tea with like dried lemons and stuff in it. I have a couple just empty little mason jars up here. I have a bunch of like... Uh, spoons and stuff whenever I go out I try to grab some just to uh, stay stocked up then these are just things you would get when you get coffee at a restaurant um, they sell like sugar and straws and stuff it's good to have these little things you never know just in case um, up here are all my spices um, I'm gonna try to take them down without dropping them all one-handed which I'm probably gonna drop them so all right, that's a bad idea. Um, as far as spices go, guys, all I have is um, just the uh, the regular ones you would get: pepper, salt, um, onion powder, um, garlic, A um, and W seasoning. It's like a restaurant; they have a seasoning is really good that I like. Um, just stuff like that. I like to use sea salt um, and the uh, the pink pink salt, I forget what it's called, it's like Himalayan or something like that salt, I have that back there. And I just have these around with this little bungee cord because uh, they tend to fly out. I'm thinking about building this up a bit or something like that just so they don't come out. But for now, this, uh, this does really well. Over in this side, it's pretty packed with stuff. Um, I've got some cordage there. I have... I definitely suggest getting these or one of these if you guys have a van or anything like that. And all it is is a little survival kit. It's got a bunch of little things in it. You can just put this in your pocket, in your backpack. Um, I was thinking about doing a video on this to show you guys what I have in it, but I don't know yet. So if you want to see what I carry in this, um, just leave a comment and I'll make a separate video on uh, everything in that. This right here is a, another... Um, it's just a little stove, it's a little camp stove for the uh, the tanks underneath the, uh, the sink there. And that's all it is. Really small, compact. I can cook on it when I'm out in the woods. So I put that in my backpack sometimes. Um, this cordage, it's like, um, I don't even know how big it is, it's a couple millimeters but it's the stretchy stuff. I've been using that a lot. Uh, I got a fire steel to start fires. I have, this is just a little book that I have up there that has like um, flies in it for fishing. Put that up there. Um, I got my glasses, got some extra Velcro. What else we got up here? Got a map for Ontario. It's a little poster. Uh, another book that I write in, um, a little sewing kit, it's got a little, dang it, but it's got a little 
this emergency sewing kit. Uh, set of headphones. Knife sharpener. Some more fuel. Some more Velcro. A little charger. Um, a battery bank that I use. Charge my phones and stuff sometimes. Game Boy. Always play that. Sunglasses. I don't know what the, oh, these are little stickers I threw up there. And that's it. So there's actually a lot of room up here in this in this compartment. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of crap up there. <laughs> and I can still fit more stuff. Um, but it's all kind of, it has its own place. So that's what's all up in my shelf. My cab's pretty boring, has nothing in here. Um, the only thing I have is a GPS that's in that center console and usually just my phone and my uh, whatever I'm drinking or snacking on is in here. But there's no storage stuff in here or anything like that. As far as my sleeping stuff goes, I have a sleeping bag. I don't even know the brand of this. It's that. I think it's like Mermot or something like that. But anyways, it's good to um, zero, zero Celsius. I have two pillows, I have a throw blanket right here, that's like a wool throw blanket, that's what I use to hold up my storage underneath my bed. I just have a throw blanket there, got two pillows, that, this is my uh, blackout curtain for my side window, and I have just a comforter. As far as my bed goes, it is four inches of foam. Three. Then I have a one inch topper along the whole thing because I had to cut pieces to fit how the angle is in here. So I wanted to put a just a topper on top just so it's a seamless, um, so I don't, I'm not falling in cracks when I'm sleeping. And this is just some magazines I had sitting in there. I have three fishing rods up here. Um, I got a four weight, a five weight, and an eight weight. Most of you guys probably don't even know what that is, but if there's fishermen watching that fly fish, you know what I'm talking about. Then, last but not least, is my big drawer. Um, what I have in here is, this is pretty much all fishing tackle. Um, just tons and tons of stuff that I use. Different lures, um, rod tip replacements, um, anything you can think of fishing. Um, I got all my flies in here too, is all in here. Um, these are all plastics, these are all tackle boxes full of lures and stuff like that. Um, this for my waders, um, I got an extra reel in here, um, gloves, just uh, this is all fishing stuff. Over here I got a fishing net a axe as well as a Baco handsaw. It's hard to open it with one hand but it's actually a really nice saw. Then over here I have my waders and my wading boots and I have a little piece of um, rubber type mat in here for these because they do get wet um, but yeah this isn't full yet. I still have some stuff that's gonna be going in it over uh, over the next couple months, but this is how full it is right now. As you can see, I still have a lot of room in there. Pack some more stuff in there. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a video like this, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to do it now since I don't have any footage um, from last week. Like I said earlier, I was sick and uh, I've been working on some uh, work things to get done so I can get back on the road. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about anything you see in my van or if you want me to elaborate on anything, uh, just drop it down in the comments as well as if you have any uh, suggestions of stuff that you have in your van or um, you think that I should carry in my van, drop, out, drop those down in the comments as well. 
Uh, but yeah, hope everyone has a good night. Until next time, take it easy, guys.